This is part four advanced actions of using advanced actions. And in this part, we're going to put it all together and look at how the advanced actions are using the variables and the item names and how things are moving in our on screen point and click game. So, as I've said earlier, most of these, are, all of these advanced action and all the action that takes place in this point and click word game happens by using click boxes. And uh, click boxes are great because they're invisible and they can be put anywhere and you can link advanced actions to them and each one of these clicks click boxes has its own advanced action assigned to it and furthermore down here in the am I right the kind of the global check to see if they've selected smile or not this click box checks globally to see um, if those variables are all adding to one in smile or if or if one of them's a zero then they're not right and then an even another um, click box um, appears that lets you uh, that exposes itself and lets you jump to another um, part of the game, part of part of this uh, project. So, click boxes are really the key here. And when you click on one click box over here in the um, properties window, you look in the action panel, and I've clicked on the click box M, and I have a script that I built that's associated with it and um, let's open that up and look at it and see what's happening okay this is a pretty simple uh, script um, if you click on the M it triggers this advanced action and um, I, I've called this script uh, show red M and when you click it it's going to hide the red M which um, that's if you remember um, I had some black rectangles that uh, each one of them hid one letter in the um, in the word smile and so it's and they started off being visible the black rectangles and so if you click M it's uh, this action is going to say um, hide it and that is going to mean it's going to go away and expose that little slice of the red alien and um, it's also going to hide a try again because we have to think if they're going through with trial and error and they've gotten the try again me message if they um, start to try again we want to hide the try again and um, then uh, if you remember as they unhide a slice of the image of the alien there's also the uh, letter S to the side of it which starts off in the game being hidden and so if they click on this uh, M it's going to show uh, red text M and see this is where it is helpful when your um, items are named in a, a helpful way and then as I had said earlier we need a variable so that um, we can know whether or not the player has clicked on the um, the letter or not and so this way we we introducing our red um, click M variable and we're adding one to it and uh, why don't we just go through the process of adding one right now this we'll just add the same one that's right here just so that you see the process um, you've got lots of different um, things that you can choose as you've seen show and hide are probably the, probably the most straightforward ones and easiest to use and this expression is pretty easy too um, you've already built you, this uh, red box here it just is not going to turn green until everything is completed and, and correct um, that all these fields have been filled out so that red saying hey I'm, I'm not finished yet so uh, you'd uh, select your variable here um, and you just scroll down to red click M as you can see I've got tons of variables in this thing so it's really helpful I can just press red on my keyboard and go straight to the R's and then I can start scrolling and that, that can really save you a lot of time doing that um, and so we want the, the the value of red click M we know um, it starts off as zero so if they clicked it we want to add one so we're gonna create a new value for this red click M 
that is going to be the previous value of red click m <clears throat> it'll ask for a variable or a literal literal will be just a number variable it'll be a variable um, but so we'll, we'll select red click m again because we want to add one to it and here's the operator and we, you can just choose an operator we want to add and instead of variable here we're just going to choose literal that means we just type in what we want to add to it in this case we just want need to add one and and you're done and it's turned green and that expression is going to work and then you can update and save your variable we don't need a, to duplicate that so we'll take it out of there by um, highlighting it and um, going to the trash but that's a look at how um, don't save that's a look at how the um, advanced action works on this uh, click box that goes over the letter M and it's really basically the same thing for um, all of them well let's look at a um, advanced action that is for a wrong click we'll open up that and um, a lot of show and hides we're, we're just basically resetting the screen when they go wrong so we want to we want to um you know show all the black rectangles that cover up the um image and we want to um hide the red text smile that pops up so we just kind of going back to initial state and we want to reassign that red click s all of them we want to reassign them back to zero in case they had already clicked one this just takes them back to um kind of a blank state and then um, the last advanced action here is the kind of the global check after they've clicked smile and they want to they've got to um the program has got to have some way to find out you know did they click them all right and then make a button appear really over here that's going to let them go ahead and, and choose some of this text that's in here to give them a certain message text here these are all come up based on what you click or what the advanced variable said so this advanced variable is the one that's kind of um like over here it's the advanced action and it's, it's the red word check and um you know these these red word, you know you're naming these scripts yourself and so let's take a look at it and that comes up and this is a conditional whereas the other one was not a conditional it was just a kind of a declarative um, statement this is conditional and um, basically is saying um, if uh, all of the SM ILE are equal to one then um, do this which are the actions down here so the if um, all conditions are true there's different you have um, different choices here uh, in this case we just want to say all because we want to make sure that the M the I the L the E the S they've all got to be equal to one that means the player clicked on them and they clicked on them and and, and they were contiguously clicked upon it. no incorrect button was clicked because that would have reset them all back to zero remember so this is uh if everything's set to one then we're just going to show and hide some stuff we're going to show um, some correct um, text boxes and we're going to um, allow a click box to pop up that when you click it it's going to let you go on to the on down the line in this game and um, so it's, it's really just showing and hiding elements um, and so that's where that goes and if if it's incorrect um, that well this this is a you know all one advanced action and you can you can kind of chain up little programs within this advanced action so th this is what happens if everything is equal to one but if everything is equal to zero or any um, see as opposed to all this says if any of them if there's a single one of them that is still zero um, then show and hide things that tell the player um, try again basically and so that's how uh, the advanced actions are kind of tying in to the variables and the and the items and everything and I hope that that is um, 
of some help in understanding these advanced actions. And if you have anything that you'd like to tell me that you'd like added or thought was confusing or helpful, just please let me know because I'm kind of new at this. But thanks so much for watching and um, I hope you have a great time with Captivate. It's really fun to work in.